Hello YouTube, my name's Dave. Welcome to my workshop in a single car garage here in South Australia. Come on in and let's see what we can make. Hello again and welcome. And in today's video I shall be talking about uh, screws, what I, what I class as instrument screws. And, and here is a, a typical example. We have uh, M5, M4, M3, M2.5 and for you uh, English guys, 2BA, 4BA, 6BA and 8BA and unfortunately I can't show you any but uh, for our uh, American visitors that will be the equivalent of uh, 1024, 832, 632, 440 and perhaps 256 so uh, that's uh, what I'm talking about is, is uh, I say I, I class these as, as, as instrument screws you know you, you actually you know put in instruments together or models or whatever um, so this is going to be uh, about the uh, potential problems that uh, I'm sure that you get and I've had in the past of, of, of how to shorten these um, we will be back now here we have perhaps as a, as, as a typical problem I have I have here a 6 ba screw sorry if I make that out it's only 3 8 of an inch long and try see that not really in my hand and say so you only want it that to be a, a, a quarter of an inch long well it's a bit of a problem because you you know by the time you've got it in your fingers you know you, what, what do you do you've got you got to watch it all you can do is, is file across the end and and um, you know you've got to got to watch out that uh, you know you don't file an nail away and things um, yeah now of course, I mean, there, there isn't a problem if you know, say, if, if you if you've got a long screw and you're prepared to waste it. Well, okay, you know, you could you can. I mean, it's just a little tool maker device. You could just you could just stick it in there, cut it off to, to whatever length you want, hold it, and and and, and file it. But as I say, if if it's um, um, you don't want to waste a long screw, um, you know, that's 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 where we've got to try and find a um, better solution. Um, now what you're seeing here, this is this this is just an, another um, another option. This 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 is what I call a pin chuck. You can um, you know you can you can actually put your longer screw in if you're prepared to waste a longer screw and just nip it up. And of course you've now got something um, decent to to hold on to. Now that's quite often uh, I've seen other people on on YouTube and things is 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 to say you get you get a pair of uh, needle nose uh, pliers you know put a bit of uh, insulation tape on there so you don't damage the thread and uh, rip it on there and and try and uh, sorry and, and and try and and succeed in in doing it that way. Now of course if you're very careful with with uh, with another option now I mean say for argument's sake you've got a you've got a uh, standard hexagon head. Uh, you could, if you're if you're careful, hold it in a in a, in a vice to do it. Or um, what we know in in England on these BA ones, which is a which is a slotted cheese head screw, you you could carefully hold it. But of course, the the biggest problem comes to I mean, say you want to hold a countersunk screw, or as you Americans call it, a flat head. You've got you've got no chance of of holding that. And then of course there is there is a what what is known as a mushroom headed screw you'd, you'd have great difficulty in, in, in holding that and of course the the, uh, the 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 recent more popular um what they call button head um so real problems for trying to hold that so what, what i'm now going to show you is a nice simple way of, of holding the screws uh, safely and quickly and um you know without damaging the screw at all stay tuned i shall be back Hi guys, I'm back again. Now I hope you appreciate that what I'm about to show in in a moment is taken a an hour and a half of my life off. Um, I've, for the last 50 years, I've been uh, I've been a long screw merchant, you know, hacksaw it off, file it, up, and and you know, because you could just go to stores and get long screws out. You know, why waste time fiddling about? And of course, it's the same here because I've got plenty of stock here, so. Um, here is what I have come up with. This is a piece of brass, and now I've decided. Now I've never, I've never wanted screws shorter than a quarter of an inch or six millimeter. Um, so this is just a piece of brass, I don't know, three, three quarters wide, quarter inch thick, with a series of tapped holes in it. Um, metric, uh, you know, I've marked it on the end. Metric on the top, um, 
and in my case BA in the bottom but obviously you guys you'll have to uh, you American guys you'll have to thread it to, to whatever you want now I've also um, there are identical holes uh, one side is countersunk uh, which is as which is this type of this type of screw which uh, I think you Americans call a flathead um, and the other side uh, is just plain so what you actually do in principle I, I, ha I have here as an example this is a this is a 2BA screw um, 3 eighths of an inch long so if I wanted to shorten it I just screw that into there you can nip it up with a screwdriver if, if you if you want if, if need be and what happens is there's there's do you see that there's the other eighth of an inch sticking out the back so of course you've now got something to, to hold should the, should the screw be a lot longer than that of course you know I mean cut cut the worst off with a you don't have to do it in your hand you, you can put it in a vice whatever um, cut it off with uh, with a junior hacksaw and file it down smooth now uh, try not to be uh, tempted to think oh I'll, I'll go and stick it on my belt sander um, two reasons really um, sometimes when you um, got a jab a screw on it as no doubt you found just doing it by hand that sometimes you know it's it snatches into the belt can even rip the belt but also um, you know it's, it's it's a bit too drastic and, and, and it wouldn't be all that long before you've um, you know you're, you're wearing this surface away of course now can they hear you saying to yourselves well yeah that's all real well but you know I don't want a quarter inch screw well it, it, it doesn't matter you can put washers under the the head here until you reach the thickness of a nut and then of course after that you can just uh, put it in with a it, 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 this this is a 4 ba one there see you just you can screw that in there with a with a with a lock nut on you, you, and you can if you know the length of the screw um, to start with you can you could you could just measure on the back how much there is to cut off if not you can measure from under the head to there so you adjust it to whatever you want and again if it if it's you know if you've got loads sticking out you know just just hacksaw it off and and, and away you go um, you know so as I say I mean how simple can that be I mean I, I, I know it's it's uh, it might be a lot of aggro um, you know making a plate but of course but you needn't make a plate with with all these holes in it I mean you I mean if you just had a particular job you think oh I've got you know I've got, I've got 20 screws I need to shorten well you know just just grab a, a, a short bit of stock and and, and, and just drill and tap the uh, just drill and tap the one hole you've not got you're not going to go to all the trouble of, of this I say mind you what's going to happen now as I said I've still got boxes and boxes of uh, I've got short screws and long screws but uh, you know I, I certainly don't you know I probably won't use this this will let it just go in the uh, in the drawer with the with the screws and probably never be used again because I say because I've got such a such a stock of, of long screws now how many times have you come across this scenario you've you've you've, you've, you've got a you've got a um a grub screw that's got a serrations on the end you, you you don't want the serrations you'd rather have it flat so you you're banging on an allen key you go over to the grinder or the belt side grinder and uh, try to click it off how many times has it flown off or there disappeared into oblivion never to be seen again well with this device you, you, you simply screw it into the into the appropriate hole David put it in the right hole there we are put it into the uh, into the right hole stick out the back the amount that you want to want to remove off pinch you know obviously if, I mean I'm, I'm right handed so so with my left hand I can actually just put some press side pressure on the on the allen key just pinching it there so that it doesn't rotate and then of course you can then pick up your um, you know if you want to risk it on on the on the on the belt sand all well and good if not uh, you know you can you can you know don't get to you know to file it down until it's there now do please remember with, with all of these screws once you've taken it out of course um the end of the screw un unlike a standard um you know when you when you get a standard screw that that, 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 that you know that, that's comes out of the factory the end is sort of slightly tapered you know where where, where it um you know where the, where the screws sort of been started but of course when you bring it out of this device it's going it's going to have it's going to be dead flat on the end and, and have a very sharp um thread so um please put a uh, file on it you know and, and just just remove that um, that very sharp thread where it where it feathers out to nothing um, well I hope that uh, you found this interesting I'll um, give you another little chat indoors and see you again in a minute so again well I hope you found that uh, interesting now um, 
I think what I've decided to do now is that uh, since there seems to be such a lot of interest in um, some of these things that I'm now doing and, and, and picking up a lot more um, subscribers that I've uh, Davies left out the cash um, uh, to buy a better camera because this is being filmed on one of these sort of, um, uh, I don't know it's 4K, um, uh, cycle helmet type thing so of course I've got no, you know, it's just shoot and stop and that's it, you know, I've got no, I've got no other facilities so and as I say and the and the um, and the screen is only is only um, uh, 25 millimeter square so you know you have a bit of a job to see it so what Dobie's done is uh, he's lashed out the cache and he's got another um, 4k uh, camera coming with a with a three inch screen that's also got a 16 time zoom on it so you know uh, yeah, I can get in for closer shots because I'm, I'm sorry about some of those screw ones when I looked at it you know they were a little bit a uh, little bit out of focus and uh, bit far away for, for what you needed so um, stay tuned for that so uh, once again thanks very much for watching I hope you've uh, I hope you've enjoyed it uh, please subscribe ring the bell click the likes send me a comment and until we meet again on a, another video and who knows that might be if it arrives in time that might be with a new camera um, wherever you are in the world please stay safe well and happy and catch you on the next one bye that's all folks.